Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily NVIDIA report for Wednesday, August 21st, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. I am going to start uh, with this one here. This is sort of the basic, basic uh, meaningful buy signal that occurred uh, four trading days ago, late last week, above the now 117.57 descending two-thirds speed line. I call it now because it's a different number every day. If tested, this is decent pullback support as we continue not only through next week, but even into September trade, in the later September trade, anticipating over the next couple of weeks, the 140.76 uh, all-time high from June, and over the next three to five weeks, perhaps, a couple of months at the most, 153.54 in rising. So being long uh, is still the name of the game uh, if you're a two to three week or even one to two month uh, position trader above 117. 57. Now, uh, also yesterday, uh, that is to say Tuesday, you know, Monday we closed above this former channel bottom comfortably. A uh, Tuesday we eased back, even slipped below it. We closed just above it. There it is, 127.51. I still see it as a pivot point through the rest of the week. If we happen to close below 127.51, I see 117.57 as a likely three to five day target. Uh, but holding above 127. 751 continued daily settlements above 127.51, 135.58 likely within several days. We could see it today, perhaps, if we push through 130 even. That is the high settlement price that was put out on Monday. Pushing through 130 even does signal 135.58 intraday. That could be it for the day. If you're long on a day trade basis and we test 135.58, I think there's a good opportunity to take profits. You might even, if it's early enough in the day, play the short short side from there, we could fall back to 130 uh, by the closing bell, perhaps, which is the high settlement price that was put out on Monday. Closing above 135 even, that 140.76 June all-time high, then likely within just another day or two, that one is once again a two- to three-week target, you know, holding above 117.57. If you're a two- to three-week swing trader and you've been long for the better part of a week above 117.57, 140.76 is a good area to take profits. Would I go short here? I don't think so. I think this market is likely to continue into the 150s and climbing over the next couple of months, and if we close above 140.76 get back in the saddle if you will to the upside 153.45 then likely within a full week of trade where we could top out on a monthly possibly quarterly basis let's take a look at the downside we have the speed line at 117.57 <coughs> excuse me and preceding it a rising channel bottom at 119.81. I don't know if we'll see this area today. I do think if we break, you know, the 117, where are you? 127, sorry, 127.51. If we break or open below this, there is certainly the possibility of falling all the way into this 117.57 to 119.81 region. Uh, and that can absorb weekly selling pressures. Uh, and we could come off of here uh, as we move into September trade. As I said earlier, uh, we could test, you know, that um, uh, 11757 speed line uh, within a few days. Let's say I don't see a clear indication of that. Um, and then we can round back up to 153.45 within a couple of months of testing 117.57. Once again, I think opening below 127.51 allows selling pressures to build. Is it a big sell signal? No. I mean, I think 123.42 would be likely within the day. That might be the extent of it. But I will say the closing back below this structure 
structure does offer a three to five day sign of weakness. Um, and I say that carefully too, because we are in the midst of a buy signal. So if you're a three to five day swing trader and we close below 127.51, you can certainly play the short side overnight, anticipating uh, this 117.57 speed line. But just know that this is a buy signal above 117.57, and uh, there's a decent chance we will fall short of it. So on the way back up, if the market reverses back to the upside, uh, you know, make sure you exercise prudent risk management. Um, once again, uh, opening above 127.51 uh, it does allow 135.58 over the next day or two, and if we push through 130, even the high settlement price put out on Monday, we could see this intraday. Downside breaking or opening below 127.51, 123.42 is likely. And if we close below 127.51, we should see the market fall into the upper 110s uh, over the next, you know, um, I don't know, several days, uh, something to that effect. Uh, where is the channel bottom that I'm looking for? I cannot find it. It really amazes me how uh, these charts just sort of vanish as I'm scrolling. Anyway, so this would be the area that would be in reach if we happen to close today below 127.51 over the next day or two, a buy opportunity as we move through next week, and yes, even into September trade. Now, if we were to close below 117.57, that is another story altogether that does pivot the market south uh, as we move uh, you know, into later week. And I do think that there's a very real chance that if we close below 117.57, we could unwind uh, all the way back into the 80s, but I will I will be illustrating that for you um, as we uh, continue into later week. There's no necess it's not necessary at this point in time. Uh, please click like, share, subscribe. Check out wickedstocks.com. Take advantage of our five day free trial. We put out a stock pick Tuesday on Nice. That's an Israeli technology software company uh, right on the edge of a nice move that could play out 20%. Uh, over the next few months, over the next couple of months. You might want to check that out for free by going to wickedstocks.com. I'll be back tomorrow with Thursday's NVIDIA report. You have a great day.